What's up guys, this is James Fox with Foxball. This workout is a part of our stationary ball handling series that you guys can get to right at home, in the gym, or wherever you just have enough space to dribble your basketball. Now let's get started. Okay, so this workout is all left hand today. It's gonna to be eight minutes long, and it's a part of our 20-20-20 series, which means that the first 20 seconds, I'm gonna introduce it to you. The next 20 seconds, we're gonna ramp up that speed a little bit. Then the last 20 seconds, we're gonna go full speed. So what we're gonna to do to warm up today is just three high pounds, then three low pounds. So we're right up to our shoulder here, and then we're going three low, three high, three low, making sure our hand stays on top of the ball that entire time. So three high, three low and then pounding it back up high, and then going low, all right? Now we're gonna ramp up that speed a little bit. Really making sure that we're getting that shoulder warm, getting our forearm warm. Keeping good control of the ball that entire time. Good, now we got full speed. As hard as we can pound it up top, as low as we can go down low, all right? Good guys, five seconds left. And time, good. Now we're gonna go over line up and back. So I'll show it to you guys from the side. So we're gonna pick a line, even if you guys don't have a line at home, that's all right. Just imagine that there's a line. So we're going over line, up and back that entire time. So the ball goes over and back every time. So there's no dribbles in between, over line, up and back. Good, now we're gonna ramp up that speed now that we got it down. Good guys, five seconds left here and then we got full. Making sure that the movement stays the same. Good, now we got full speed, as fast as we can go. Hand stays on top of the ball that entire time. Keeping good control of it, it's all right to screw up. Just make sure you get right back into it. Good, two, one, time, good. Next one we got is super similar to the last one we just did, but it's gonna be over line, side to side, rather than up and back. So we're gonna go here, over line, side to side. So now it goes across our body, making sure our body isn't swaying like this, it's just our arm going over and back, and then making sure our hand stays on top of the ball that entire time, all right? Now we're gonna ramp up that speed a little bit. Good guys, keep it up. Should be feeling that burn in your arm. Over line, up and back. Good, now we got full speed, as hard as we can go here. Making sure that we get our good reps in. Going this full minute really helps making sure you're getting the most reps possible. Good, five, two, one, time, good. Now if you guys have done our other series, we've done a wiper before. So the wiper is just right here. Now we're gonna add in a pound in between every wiper. So it's gonna be pound, wiper, pound. So just like that, pound, wiper, pound. Pound, wiper, pound, all right? Now that we got that movement down, we can ramp up our speed a little bit. Good guys, keep it up. It's all right to screw up, just get right back into it. Good, now full speed, all right, as fast as we can go. Getting good dribbles in every time here. Back and forth, good, two, one, time, good. So this next one is just like the one we just did, but now it's a pound side pull. So again, we've, always, we've done these side pulls before, so now it's just gonna be a pound, side pull, then pound. 
So that side pull only happens going back and forth, and then the pound's only in the front. All right, so now I'll turn and face you guys. Pound, side pull, pound. Good, now we can ramp up that speed a little bit now that we got the movement down. Good, back and forth every time, then that pound in front. Making sure our hand stays on top and behind the ball, never underneath. Good, now we got full speed, as fast as we can go. Adding those pounds in. Good, guys, good. Good, three, two, one, time, good. Now it's gonna be that same concept, but now it's just one pound and then one dribble, but the one dribble happens on an in and out move. So it's gonna be pound, in and out, pound. In and out, pound, in and out, pound, all right? So that ball, we don't want to sway our body like I've been talking about this entire time, making sure it's just our arm going on the movement, all right? And our hand never comes underneath the ball or it never throws it over the top. Our hand always stays right on top and all we're doing is shifting the weight of that ball. Now we can ramp up our speed. Really getting good reps in here. Good, now we got full speed, as fast as we can go. Good, really pushing hard here, getting through this. Good, we got five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one time. Last two we got today are similar to what we've done in our low ball series, but now it's a high ball and we're circling this left leg. So we're only going to use our left hand. So as you guys can see, my right hand never touches the ball. So we're going to go around this leg, coming in through the back for these first. Okay. Good. Now that we got that movement down, we can ramp up that speed. Making sure that you try to keep your head up as much as possible here. I know it might be difficult. Also, making sure we're not swaying our body big like that. We're just throwing it around with our arm, all right? Making sure that we can control it with just our left arm. Again, my right hand isn't touching the ball at all. So you guys can bring that ball, making sure that it's not like really low like it was in our low ball. We're up high with it, all right? Good, now we got full speed. Being able to just maintain with one hand is a big thing. Going around this one leg, just one-handed. Good, three, two, one, time, good. Now this last one we got, we're just going through the front. This one's gonna be a little bit more difficult just because we gotta go from front to back, so we gotta have a big reach in the back to maintain that ball. So we're going through the front, catching it in the back. All right? Throwing it through. If you screw up, that's all right. Just get right back into it, all right? Sometimes if you're, if you're perfect on these, that means you're not going hard enough. So you want to push yourself and make yourself screw up sometimes, because screw ups will ultimately make you better. Good, now we're ramping up that speed. Good guys, keep pushing. Good, now we got full speed. This is our last 20 seconds today. As fast as we can go, making sure that ball goes through, keeping our head up as much as possible. Good guys, five, four, three, two, one, time, good. All right guys. Really good work with this left hand today. Some of you might be your off hand, some your strong hand, but we definitely got better today. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. Drop a comment below. Let us know what you guys want to see next, where you think these dribbling, ball handling moves should be going. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you guys bring a friend. Thanks.